Hey, I'm Sam Ringgold, and today I'm going to give you guys a demonstration of the WC Hayes Model 333 grade crossing bell and the General Signals Incorporated Type 1 electronic crossing bell. Okay, so we're going to start with the 333 WC Hayes. The bell's all aluminum. Um, the gong is steel, so we'll turn it around here and uh, open her up. First thing you'll notice on most of y'all's bells, you're going to have a instruction sheet on the door on how to oil it and what all the parts are. And uh, if your bell does not have wires, I'll go ahead and show you guys okay. how to wire So what you're going to want to do this is going to be your positive and your negative or vice versa it doesn't matter on this bell because polarity does not matter anyways you're not going to hook anything up to this contact right here you see there this one and that one so that's where you'll hook your two wires up positive and negative and then you're going to run those down the bell and out the hole now when you get that hooked up and you turn your bell on if it starts ringing or moving but no ringing is occurring uh, right here is your speed armature you're going to want to loosen this screw and you're going to want to push this up or down depending on if your bell's ringing too fast or not at all okay and when you need to pull maintenance on the bell as in lubricating this nut here is where you're going to apply oil to the bell so it lubricates all the joints take that out and put oil in it. The instructions say use semaphore oil but like myself I don't work for the railroad where am I going to get semaphore oil at? So standard 3-in-1 oil would work. Now me. we're going to take it for a test run um, the bell is rated at 6 to 17 volts in DC operation I am going to be using a 9 volt power supply. Okay so here we go with the mechanical bell. And I, like I'm doing right now, I'm moving that speed armature. And if you move it too far down, well then it's just gonna keep completing the circuit and the, the uh, mechanism or the hammer will get stuck in that position. The recommended speed setting is 200 strokes per minute. I'm not going to sit here for a minute and count the rings. I'm just going to set it to what I like. And that will be good for me. So that's how to operate your WCH model 333 mechanical crossing bell. On to the next bell. It's the Gen General Signals uh, Incorporated Type 1 um, E bell. This bell is made out of PVC pipe, except for the, the mass coupling down here. It's, that's aluminum. This is PVC. That's a PVC pipe cap. Most people don't know that, they think it's all aluminum. Um, of course, you've got the wire here in the cage to keep insects and bugs and animals and whatnot out. Up top, inside you've got your speaker. Then you've got a cone here to project the sound out towards the road. Um, and down here of course is the mass coupling. You've got your connections down here. Now polarity does matter on this bell. This is going to be positive, which has a red wire. And this is negative. This can be run from six to 17 volts um, DC and 6 to 15 volts AC. Under the cap there is a circuit board and of course that's got the connections for the power and everything because there's wires running up through here but it's also got a, a um, terminal where you can stick a screwdriver in and turn it either left or right and that will uh, change the pitch or the tone of the bell and I have a video somewhere on my profile where I'm doing that so y'all will have to search that out search that up because it's a uh, it takes time to take this bell apart 
So we'll go ahead and hook this thing up and I'll show y'all how it works. Okay, so now I've got the E-Bell hooked up with 9 volts DC and we'll take it for a test run. And that is the end of the demonstration for these two bells. Hopefully this video helps you bell collectors how how to hook up your bells and and whatnot. So that's it.